Hello there. You're welcome to another episode of To The Point Code. In this episode, we'll prepare all the graphics that will be required for our application. This includes the icon and also screenshots for devices of different screen sizes. So let's get started. Now on the dashboard of our application, let's visit the seventh setup option. Once we are on the page and scroll down a bit, we see that the first graphic required is our app icon and the app icon is supposed to be 512 pixels by 512 pixels but the icon that is required by Expo React Native is supposed to be 1024 by 1024 so what you are going to do is that you are going to resize our original app icon so that it can be accepted by the store for this you can use any tool of your choice but I prefer to use Canva the link to Canva is in the description below and you can check it out if you want. This is the app icon that we have and we've added it to our application already. And as you can see, the size is 1024 by 1024. So we are going to resize it. Now once our image has been uploaded, we can add it to the canvas. Now we can go ahead to download it in the required format. We are going to use PNG here. And now we are done with our app icon. And now we move on to the feature graphic. This is supposed to be 1024 by 500 pixels. For the feature graphic, I have this image here that I created for promotional purposes, but it doesn't match the required dimensions of Google Play. So once again, we find a way to resize it. For the actual image here, I created it using Photoshop. We have to make sure that we match the size. We have some extra background here, so I'll fill it with the color of our background. And Canva makes it easy to assess the colors in our image. So once again, we can save it in our preferred format. Also, we have an option to provide a video if you have one, but for now, I'll leave it blank. Also, for the phone, you are supposed to provide some screenshots between 2 to 8 of them. So, I have a few of them here in my folder. So, for the screenshots, I took them on my device and I rounded the corners using Photoshop. Let me know in the comment section below if you'd like to see a tutorial on how to do that. Now for the tablet screenshots, 
If you don't have an actual tablet to run the application on them and take the screenshots, you can set up tablet emulators using Android Studio. So we are going to do that for the 7-inch tablet and also the 10-inch tablet. We made the initial setup of Android Studio in a video that I'll link up here and also in the description below. We set up Android Studio for Expo React Native Development. Now we go to Configure. Under Configure, we go to AVD Manager. Now once the manager is showing, we go to Create Virtual Device. Now we want to create a tablet, so we select tablet under the category. First, we need to create for a 7-inch tablet, so we select the 7-inch tablet. And we click on Next. Now we select the OS that we've downloaded. For me, I've downloaded Pi already, so I'll select that one. The OS that you've downloaded might be different. I will go ahead to customize the name of our AVD if you want. Otherwise, you can just click finish. Now we have a new tablet emulator here. Let's go ahead to create one for the 10 inch also. So under the tablet section, we select a 10 inch tablet. In this case, I'll go with the Nexus 10. Once again, I'll choose the Pi operating system. And if you want, you can customize the name again. But I'll just maintain it and click on finish. So we have our two tablets set up. So let's start the 7 inch tablet. While our emulator is trying to launch, let's go to the command line and quickly start our application. So we enter the directory of the to-do app and run expo start. Now once our emulator has launched successfully, we go ahead to run our application on it. the application is opening, we can start taking our screenshots. Now we can take the first screenshot for our splash screen. Also we take another screenshot for the home screen. I'll take another screenshot of this page as well. So basically, you can take as many screenshots as you want. Now let's close this and do the same for the 10-inch tablet. So we go ahead to run it. Now on starting, we see that the tablet is in landscape mode. So we can go ahead to rotate it. Now once again, we go into the browser to run the application on the emulator. Note that if you have the APK file of the project, you can just drag and drop it onto the emulator to make the running process very short. Now once it's successful, we can go ahead and start taking our screenshots.
So as I previously said, you can take as many screenshots as you want. Once we are done, we can gather all those files and prepare to upload them in the next episode. So that's all for this episode. Thanks for watching. Please leave a like and subscribe and also leave a comment in the comment section below. And I'll see you in the next episode.